Okay, so we've been looking at kinetic energy, which came from our correct questioning about what energy is and wh what it can do and, and work. We've just had a video looking at average temperature and its proportional link with average kinetic energy. Now let's bring this to a definition uh, that you typically will see as soon as you open any chemistry book. The chemistry is the study of matter and its changes. We've seen that those changes can be physical. If they're physical changes, they're reversible. So here's an example of physical changes. For example, you take a solid piece of water, a piece of ice. You can convert that solid to a liquid by adding energy. You can heat the ice up, melt the ice to make a liquid. You can then boil the liquid to make steam, which is the water in its gaseous phase. You could then reverse that and condense the steam back to a liquid again. And then you could put the liquid back in a freezer and freeze it back to a solid again. And then you can repeat the process. This is, an irrevers this is a reversible change because you don't permanently change anything. You can always undo what you've done. What this would look like at the molecular level is if you consider that these spheres represent whatever solid this is, it could be a molecule of water, it could be an atom. But in a solid, they're all arranged in some kind of order. Now, the exact nature of the order can vary, but they're arranged in some kind of order. In the liquid phase, they're less organized, so they're about to, well, they're able to roll past each other. Here they can't, they're, they're fixed. Here they can move, they're mobile, but they still tend to cluster around each other. However, in the gaseous phase, there's large separations between adjacent uh, pieces. These arrows represent motion. So these are very chaotic. This is a very chaotic form of matter with motion, um, etc. So if we were to go from left to right, well, first of all, we know that this is low temperature. Ice is definitely a lower temperature than steam. This would be high temperature. And we've seen in the previous videos that temperature is proportional to kinetic energy. So this would also be high kinetic energy. Therefore, this would be low kinetic energy. Low because it's proportional to temperature high because it's proportional to temperature. Kinetic energy, remember, is mass times velocity squared over the number two. So this means because these are high, they're moving quickly, they have a high square velocity. And that's right, gases move very quickly. Low means that they have a low velocity, so they tend to not really move, they just jiggle around in position. Because they tend not to move, we can build things out of them. Um, so understanding phases of matter or states of matter at the diagrammatic level, so being able to understand a visual like this and then linking it to both temperature and kinetic energy is definitely something you'll need to be comfortable with in this class.